Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you record animation data, including your voice data in one go. Um, in order to do this, I am going to show you this on this character and also kind of illustrate some of the issues that can arise. Um, so you see that I've selected my source here because it's a big character. Uh, I've amplified, uh, I've amplified my strength of the animation. Um, I need to make sure that if I amplify this, that my entire face, what you see here is set to normal to one. In this case, I'm going to leave it on 4.8 because you'll see what happens, uh, in a bit. If I don't do that, you get multiplier times multiplier. Um, okay. So basically, I'm going to create a new track. So I'm adding our character to the timeline. Um, in terms of the motion source, I'm going to say I want everything. Um, you can split this into different parts. In fact, actually, I don't want any lower body. I want to have the face and the upper body, right? Uh, that's correct. So now I'll go to the start of my sequence. I need to make sure that in my animation recorder, we have record audio on. Um, this will make sure that the audio track that's recorded will be in sync with your um, animation. So let's do that. I will say one, two, three. Hello, this is how you record animation in Replicant. And the nice thing is that you can keep your voice as well, and it will automatically sync up. Bye bye. Stop. Now, what you need to do in order to see this, switch your motion capture source off. So I've switched my body and my head off. And now you can see that this is coming in quite distorted, right? And what I mentioned prior was that this multiplier on this character should be by default. Otherwise, it's going to multiply uh, what was recorded. So here you see that it now looks. Hello, this is how you record animation in Replicant. And the nice thing is that you can keep your voice as well, and it will automatically sync up. Bye bye. So you see that uh, there's no movement on the legs because I didn't record them. Um, a lot of times you want to do the face separately. And in that case, you only record upper body and you can put the face on a different track. Uh, but for this, this is fine. The only thing that I would love right now is this character to, you know, have a little bit of a walk. You know, maybe this here. And how I would do that is I would create another track, body animation, and I would drag this one on top of this. And here I would say only the lower body. So we switch this off. So now you see that these animations are being combined. Hello, this is how you record animation in Replicant. And the nice thing is that you can keep your voice as well, and it will automatically sync up. Bye bye. Um, so yeah, this is how you uh, how you do that. Um, let me know if this is clear and if there's any any issues, and um, I'll be happy to 